If you want to make guacamole, here's what you got to do. Ingredients you will need. Coarse salt, one quarter cup white onion chopped, a bunch of cilantro chopped, one half jalapeno chopped, two medium avocados chopped, one plum tomato chopped. Tools you will need. A mocajete or other mortar and pestle, a sharp knife, a cutting board, a flatware tablespoon, a rubber scraper or spatula. Hi everyone, we're here in my kitchen and if you want to know how to make guacamole, here's what you got to do. This is my friend Ashley Tate Cooper Kevra. <laughs> and if you need a really good matrimonial journey, <laughs> you want to get in touch with her. That's funny. We always have to do free promos. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make guacamole. We have prepped our onion, uh, half a jalapeno. This is about a quarter of a medium sized onion. We have a uh, half of a jalapeno and a one plum tomato chopped. Okay. And what we're doing is I took this recipe from Rosa Mexicanos. Um, my favorite restaurant uh, for a good guacamole. This is actually a mocajete from Rosa Mexicanos and it's been cured and I've there's many different recipes on how to make guacamole but I find this one to be the most consistently good recipe to make uh, good guacamole to make the family happy. So what we do is we make the paste. The paste is some salt so I just put some salt in there. If you want to help me there with some salt. Of course salt the better. That's good some onion and start with your mocajete. Make a paste. It's smushing and mushing right now. And you can see how quickly it becomes a paste. Ashley's putting me to work. By yes. the way, Ashley and I have been friends for how many years? Um, since two, uh, 1998. That's a long time. That is a long time. I, we can't do the math, but it's now <laughs> 2017. <laughs> <laughs> There's some, that's a little bit of jalapenos just to add to the mix. I'm going to add a little bit more onions to keep the paste going. Go paste, go. Yes. Maybe some more salt. Okay, so once you have a good little paste, but the next trick is to start adding in your avocados. This is a good paste, yeah? Or should I? Yeah, I just keep going until you can see how quickly it becomes a paste. If I start crying, it's not because I'm sad. <laughs> Paste. Let's see how it's, it's quickly all the ingredients become a very easy to use paste. Let me just show the audience. Yep. It looks like shod. Okay. That's an so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, you can hold off one second with the, that tool. Okay. And we're just going to scoop in these avocados that are perfectly ripe. Oh, they're beautiful. Yes. So, if you want to um, get some cilantro, because that is the of this recipe. Okay, so how much? Like, I would just take a good handful. Okay. Okay. Good handful. Well, I scoop this in. Okay. And then, if you want to just dice that up a little bit, here's the cutting board. Part of my avocado pits. And I wouldn't call your pits avocado. They're more like roses. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna switch sides. Okay. Alright, so let me just do this real quick so that. So now we have the avocado in here. Alright. And you're gonna fold it into the paste. Alright. It's very important you just fold it. This is, I don't know if it's chopped enough. Yeah, that's plenty. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Throw that in there. Throw in the uh, jalapenos, the rest of the onions. Yep. The rest of the onions. And the tomato, let me just work this for two seconds before we get the tomatoes involved. Okay. And then you can add a little bit of salt. Okay, do you want more of this? Sure. I'll scoop out some more. And what I'm really doing is trying to compress the onions, because once the onions get compressed with the cilantro, that's where you get that authentic guacamole taste. Okay. Now, if you want to add the tomatoes, we'll fold them in. You don't really want to smush the tomatoes because then they really become nothing. Okay, some more salt first, or? Yeah, we can add a little salt. I'm gonna fold that in before we do the. This is, I'm telling you, this is authentic restaurant, homemade, fresh guacamole. All I can say it is, is it smells amazing. Okay, add those in. And you just fold. 
and you will be shocked how easy, how simple, and how delicious this really is in your authentic mocajete. Okay, let's grab a tortilla. Oops, one for you. Thank you. One for me. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Perfection. Mm. Winner. So good. Well, thank you so much. Of course. And don't forget, <laughs> Ashley Tate Cooper. For all your guacamole needs. And matrimonial. <laughs> thank you. Special thanks to our guest, Ashley Tate Cooper, Esquire, WeinbergCooper.com. Please check out my website, here'swhatyougottodo.wordpress.com. And if you like what you see, please subscribe.